Hi, thank you for choosing a Howard Wright product. This short video covers the operation and features of an M8 intensive care bed. Please read and understand the instructions for use manual and remove all packing materials before use. There are two methods for controlling the bed. The first method uses this handset at the head end. The second method uses the attendant control keypad located on either side of the bed. Each keypad has the same functions as the handset, but also includes a lockout function and a battery indicator. To lock out any electric function, press and hold the key button and press the function button. To unlock any electric function, press and hold the key button and press the function button. Any function locked out on the attendant control keypad will also be locked out on the handset. The bed has a power cord at the head end and should be plugged in whenever possible for optimum performance and to charge the battery. When the bed isn't plugged in, the power cord should be coiled around the cord holder. When the battery runs low, a beep will be heard when a function button is pressed. The bed should be plugged in to charge the battery. When the battery is fully charged, the LED on the attendant control keypad will be green. When the battery is low, the LED will be red and the battery needs to be charged. To raise and lower the backrest, upper leg raise, or the deck, press the appropriate button. To tilt the deck, press the head up or head down tilt button. When transitioning from head down to foot down tilt or from foot down to head down tilt, the deck will pause at the level position before continuing. To form a chair position, press the chair up button. To achieve the full chair position with the bed at a relatively low height, ensure that the bed extension is latched fully in and the linen rack is properly stowed. To flatten the deck, press the chair down button. The lower leg raise can be elevated manually when the upper leg raise is already raised. To raise the lower leg raise, simply raise by hand. To lower the leg raise, release the lever and the leg raise will lower. A CPR backrest emergency release lever is located on each side of the bed. To lower the backrest quickly in an emergency, move the lever towards the head end of the bed. Side rails are fitted to each side of the bed. To raise the side rail, simply hold the top rail and raise. The lever will automatically latch. To lower the side rail, hold the top rail with one hand, lift the release lever with the other, and push towards the foot end. A bed extension is located at the end of the bed and can be used for supporting the feet of a taller patient. To extend the bed extension, lift the release handle and pull the extension fully out and release the handle. Then place the bolster mattress on the bed extension. Beddings are available and can be installed by lowering the pegs into the sockets. The head bedding can be stored in the additional sockets at the foot end. Pull out the bed extension until the storage sockets are accessible. Store the bed end by lowering the pegs into the sockets. A linen rack is located at the foot end of the bed and can be used for storing clean linen. To extend the linen rack, simply pull out the tray. And to sew, push the tray back in. Caster pedals can occupy three positions, brake, neutral and steer. To engage the brake, press the red pedal. To engage neutral, set the pedal to a horizontal position. When set in neutral, the bed can be manoeuvred in any direction. To engage steer, set the pedal to a neutral position and engage the fifth wheel by pushing the green fifth wheel pedal down. The fifth wheel is now engaged and the bed is ready to go. A two or four hook IV pole is available. 
Plug the IV pole into one of the bed's four corner sockets. To extend the IV pole, loosen the locking collar and move the hooks to the desired height. Then tighten the collar. A range of oxygen cylinder carriers are available. Plug the oxygen cylinder carrier into one of the bed's four corner accessory sockets. A full X-ray cassette system is provided. Cassette positioning is achieved via an X-ray handle at either side. To load a cassette, remove the head bed end and move the cassette tray fully towards the head end. Place the cassette on the cassette tray and position the cassette beneath the patient using one of the X-ray handles. A C-arm image intensifier can also be placed around the patient while they remain in bed. Raise the deck to full height. The receiver can be placed directly adjacent to the patient or according to procedure. A potential equalisation terminal is located at the head end on the left side. It can be connected either to earth for additional earth protection or to electrical medical equipment to equalise any potential difference. A weigh scale is available as a factory fitted accessory and if fitted has a scale control at the foot end of the bed. The scale control has two operation buttons together with several function buttons. To operate any scale function, an operation button must first be pressed and held while a function button is being pressed. To zero the scale, there must be no patient on the bed. Press the zero function button to set the display to zero. The display will flash and zero will display. To weigh the patient, place the patient on the bed and press the weigh button. The display will flash and the patient's weight will be displayed. If you need to add or remove weight from the bed, use the add or remove weight function. This is useful if you need to add a piece of equipment such as an IV pole or oxygen cylinder carrier. To add or remove weight from the bed, press the add remove button. Once the display panel reads auto, add or remove the weight from the bed and then press the add and remove button again. The original weight will be displayed when the weigh function button is pressed. To activate the bed exit alarm, the patient must be on the bed. Press and hold an operation button and the bed exit alarm button. The LED will illuminate green. If the patient exits the bed, an alarm will sound and the LED will flash red. To turn off the alarm, press the bed exit alarm button again. For a full list of options and accessories, please visit our website. If you have any further questions, please consult the Supplied Instructions for Use manual or contact Howard Wright Customer Service.